All right, welcome to Crest of Butte. Yeah, I'm Tell stoked. Tell me, who are you and why are you here? Yes, I am Ryan Hall and I am running my first ultra marathon tomorrow. So I'm pretty stoked on that. Really stoked that it's in Crest of Butte. Um, Sarah and I just discovered this place earlier this summer. We're back for a whole month. She's getting ready for a London marathon and this just happens to be going down while I'm here. So I'm, I'm super excited. That's awesome. What made you decide to do your first ultra? <laughs> <laughs> so one of my athletes, Meta, who's actually standing right there, she texted me, she was on a break, and she texted me that she wanted to run this ultra marathon in Crested Butte. She used to live up here, and she's like, this is just this awesome race, I've always wanted to do it. And so I looked it up, and I was like, something about it just kind of captured me, and I was just like, man, way up in the mountains in Crested Butte, I was like, this is gonna be epic. And it's just one of those things, it made no sense, because I wasn't running at all, <laughs> but I've always been a gamer, right? So I just love to hop in challenges, and I saw there's like 9,000 feet of elevation, Games, 43 miles. The furthest I've gone is a marathon, so way outside of my uh, sweet spot, you could say. And I don't even have a sweet spot when it comes to running. Now I'm into lifting, and uh, just kind of was one of those things where there's all these things are falling into place. I just happened to be in town, anyways, and uh, just I was like, oh, I'm in. I wanted to make sure she wasn't the least undertrained athlete in the race because she would have been because she was just coming off a two week break off of 5K training. So I'm ensuring that uh, she's not going to get last place. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, but you've got a little bit of marathon experience, right? I've run a couple. I had a couple good days, yeah. A couple good ones? Yeah. Okay. Um, so one of your fans wants to know, you were a very skinny runner. You yes. really were like running a lot um, and now you've been doing a lot of lifting put on a lot of muscle how, w which feels better like how do you <laughs> which one do you feel healthier in so I always tell people, well, first off, the way we ran is not like a healthy way to do running, right? It's like we're right on the line of extreme, right? Like you have to train like at the point where your body's about to break and you're just right underneath that. So there's a healthy way to do running. I don't think being a professional marathon runner trying to be the best guy in the world is a healthy way to do it. So I was always like way underweight and I was trained so hard. I always tell people I felt like a zombie when I was walking around all day. So I'd have to take two hour naps every day, just super tired all day long kind of grumpy a lot and now I'm into weightlifting I'm eating way more calories I'm building muscle I'm sleeping still a lot eating a lot more than I've been eating so of course like my energy is way way better when I'm lifting and that I feel way better lifting which is why I don't run anymore and I don't train but you know with that said I could do it in a very healthy way if I wanted to it's just now I'm kind of like a man of extremes so I was really into the marathon when I was doing marathon now I'm in the weights and I'm super into the weights but I still love to just like hop in things like this because I do miss like racing and I do miss like adventure runs like this. So this is perfect for me to like not train and then just do the race. Well, and I think in this particular race, strength is going to play a huge factor. So I wish you the best of luck. Yeah, thank you. I'm stronger than I've ever been before in terms of actual strength. <laughs> we'll see if that helps with the pounding of the muscles on all those descents. But if not, I'll just uh, bust out a squirrel suit and give it a little fly down. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck tomorrow. We'll be <laughs> cheering you, you on and you. keeping folks updated. Yeah, thanks. All right.